welcome back to another video. If you're new here, welcome. It's been a while. If you've been following me or have already subscribed to my channel, it's been about a month since I uploaded anything. Um, I really wanted to put something out there today because I said I would and I really like to keep my word. So I'm just going to put something out there. I really want to try to keep this a quick, short, sweet video. I feel like I'm paying attention to my hair because if my hair gets fully dry at the end of this video, it was way too long. So I don't want to like speed through it because I haven't uploaded anything in a while. Um, but I also don't want to make this a super lengthy video. I want to try to keep the editing as like minimal as possible. I kind of just want to like upload it and put it out. So yeah. Um, all right. So obviously my last video has been like a month ago. Um, I've been going through some stuff. Life gets chaotic, you know, gets hectic as I feel like everyone kind of goes through, you know, a lot of stuff that you enjoy to do or need to be doing kind of gets put on the back burner. You kind of go through this phase of like not wanting to do anything. So that's kind of what I was going through. And I feel like it was, like I said, it's been a month. Um, it's not even just been the videos. I feel like I wasn't making time for the gym. I wasn't making time for the videos. Um, I had no motivation to even like come home cook dinner. Like I would just like the girl dinner. That's what I was doing. And I was just like calling it good enough. Um, yeah, the house, the laundry, just like everything felt like uh, so, like I feel like it took so much energy that I did not have. So yeah, just kind of been going through that. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and jump right into this video because I don't want to be like blabbering and I do want to kind of try to keep it short. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so for today's video, it's going to be a little bit different than anything I've uploaded before. Um, I originally planned on doing like a get ready with me and chit chat. I have like a whole, not prompt, but I usually, when I'm doing videos like this, like where I'm sitting, talking to the camera, not vlog style, I usually try to map out like what I'm going to talk about, topics I really want to hit. Um, which I originally had in my notes on my phone, but um, because like the weekend was a little bit busier than I planned it to be, and I got home a lot later than I thought I was going to be, um, that kind of went out the window. So I'm kind of just like going with the flow. So hopefully that's why I'm like, I want to keep it short because like when I don't have any type of structure of my videos, I just get to blabbing and like I, it's like squirrel. So yeah, um, but yeah, so this video, I'm kind of just going to focus more on like self-care. The whole vibe of this video is like self-care Sunday. Oh, I already took my shower. I took my everything shower. My girls know exactly what that is. So, you know, we exfoliated the body, we shaved, we washed our hair. Um, I usually only wash my hair once a month. So the hair is washed. So today I'm just going to be kind of focusing on, you know, my skincare. And while I'm doing that, I guess I'll be like kind of, I don't even know what I'm going to be talking about because I don't have anything mapped out. So we're just going to go ahead and get right into it. Hair. So I use, I've been using these new shampoo and conditioners by the brand Hask. So I washed my hair with these today. I kind of been switching it up, or not have been, but I switched it up probably about a month ago. I'm about half a bottle in, because like I said, I only wash my hair once a month. Um, but this is a little bit more of a cleaner brand. Usually I would just use like Suave or Pantene, or I was never really like mindful of what products I was using for my hair because I didn't care that much. I would do like, you know, hot oil treatments or like um, leave-in conditioners, but as far as like what I was washing my hair with, I really didn't care. So I feel like I had to spend a couple extra bucks and, um, you know, kind of splurge on new products for my hair because I feel like my hair was falling out. Like literally as I was brushing it, like it would just fall out. Like, do you guys see that? Not cool. So yeah, I've been using this brand. It's paraben free. I'm sorry, paraben free, sulfate free, and it's just more of like a cleaner brand. Um, it's I got the tea tree and rosemary oil one, uh, or infused I should say. I personally really really love tea tree and rosemary because it kind of leaves like your scalp like a tingly sensation. It feels like super clean. I personally enjoy that. Some people do, some people don't. I do. Um, I also try something new, and it is called Hair Lab. It's like a little, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, but kind of like, I can't think of the word, but it's kind of like a, um, I'm blanking guys, I'm sorry. I don't know, it's like a protein that you can put in your product. So I got these, you can get it at like Walmart, Meyer, I'm sure, probably like a CVS, but it comes with two little bottles per box. I didn't know that right away. I thought it was like one bottle in each box. So I got two boxes. So I actually have two supplies, but come on. So they come in little bottles like this 
and you put one, like it literally tells you what, like which one to put in your conditioner, which one to put in your shampoo. So they're like little doses, like supplements. That's what I was thinking of. And you can put one in each of your shampoo and conditioner. And it's basically supposed to help with, well, there's different kinds. Um, you can get one for, you know, breakage. Um, there's like a lot of different ones. I personally got the one for breakage because that's where I was struggling. But um, yeah, so this is also a very, it's like a vegan product. So I'm trying to go a little bit more natural. I don't know if that might be a little more gentle on my hair. Um, but this one is also paraben free, sulfate free, um, patholate free. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, guys. Don't come for me. Um, fragrance free, mineral oil free, cruelty free. So just a very clean brand. Um, I add these to my shampoo conditioner and I do feel like it's been helping. And then I also made a big mason jar of rice water. So I do like a little rinse. Um, like I wash my hair, do my you know conditioner, and then I rinse it with the rice water. That's basically supposed to help with like you know breakage. Supposed to help um, you know what's the word boost your like hair growth. So I've been doing that. Like I rinse it um, with the conditioner. Like I kind of just dip my hair and rinse it, and then I just rinse it with like cold water, and that's that. So let's go ahead and get into the skincare because I already been talking it up. So for my cleanser, um, I usually use the CeraVe facial, hydrating facial cleanser, nothing special. Um, if I wanna exfoliate, I actually do this bar soap. This is a shea butter, um, African shea butter and oatmeal, oat and something, but I usually just do the bar and then I use my little sponge. So that's how I use to exfoliate. So that's what I did for my cleanser. Um, before I go on with any of my you know, skincare products. I like to use a toner. Um, I usually use like an Estee Lauder one or something a little bit more of, more luxury brand, I guess. Um, but if I am, you know, hurting, my pockets are hurting, I just use this one. This is a Dickinson's Witch Hazel, just normal toner. Um, works just fine for me, so. Before I even get way deep in this video, like if you guys want to take notes, which I doubt you guys will, I feel like everyone kind of has their own makeup routine, skincare routine, feel free to like take notes. But again, like I'm not a dermatologist. I'm not like suggesting anything. I'm just using like what works for my skin. And even so like a lot of these products, like I'm still feel like I'm struggling to figure out what products work for my skin, especially like a cleanser. So I just put the toner on a cotton pad and I just kind of like, you know, Wipe all of the any excess dirt, oil, residue, makeup that my cleanser did not get. Um, and I do this, this is like my first step to my skincare before I go with any products. So, yeah. All right, and then my next step is like an essence, um, which is basically like a booster to all of the skincare products that I'm gonna go on with. Um, and the one that I'm currently using is um, Estee Lauder's Nutritious. It's like a super pomegranate essence. Um, oops, not adding that out because I don't feel like it, but you can use a cotton pad. I prefer to just go right into the skin like with my fingers. So I just take a little bit and then I put it all over my face. And yeah. Um, if you're not crazy about skincare, which it took me a while to get into the skincare department, I feel like for a while I was all about the makeup, um, and then I realized how more important, like you know, you could spend all the money on great makeup, but if you're not taking care of your skin, like that's really the root of the issue. So like you know, yeah. So basically, I got into skincare a little bit more, and I started like paying a little bit more attention to my skincare. I spent, I you know, usually started spending a little bit more time on my skincare versus what my makeup was. So yeah. Um, I don't know, I enjoy it. Um, either way, whether you're using five products or two products, I don't know, I just feel like um, your skin is super sensitive. It's the most sensitive spot on your whole body, especially around your eyes, so just be gentle. Love your skin, don't be so crazy, don't tug, don't pull. Um, you know, sleeping in the makeup, which obviously I did. I did it Friday, um, went out with some friends. It was my friend's birthday and we went out for some drinks, came home, I did not feel like taking off my makeup and I did not, so my skin just felt super congested and um, like thirsty for like moisturizer on Saturday. So yeah, 
Um, so for serum, I'm going in with a couple of them. I like to kind of use two different serums, especially for my nighttime routine. Um, the first one is Estee Lauder's Perfectionist Pro. This is a rapid brightening treatment, so it's gonna help with like discoloration, any acne scars, aging spots, anything like that, which is obviously what I struggle with. So I'm gonna use a little bit of this. I'm actually running out. I am pretty low on a lot of my skincare and my makeup, but I'm trying to use up what I have left because I don't like, I hate when I go shopping for products, whether it's hair products or skincare products, whatever the case is, and then like I come home and like a week later I'm out of something else. So I'm trying to use everything up that I have. That way I can go do my run and just have everything at once versus get what I'm out of now and then have to go in another week and get something else. So yeah, that's what we're trying to do. Um, so sometimes I do switch up my skincare. That might be a reason why I'm not seeing a difference because I'm using different things at different times and I'm not giving myself time to like see how one product works before switching to another one. So yeah. My next serum, as I'll talk about that, is my Double Strength Retinol Night Repair Serum. If you're in your 20s, I would start using this like ASAP. Um, this is gonna help with any collagen, fine lines, wrinkles, any, like this is gonna kinda target your, any first signs of like aging. So this is a good product to use. You can really use any retinol serum that works for you or for your skin. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I like to also take the serum, whatever's left, and just kinda bring it below on my neck. Because obviously, you know, we don't just age in our face. So I like to spend time and just massage it into my skin. I usually spend a lot more time on my skincare and the nighttime because I'm not a morning person. I'm trying to change that. Um, so obviously I have more time at night. That's where I spend the most time on anything. So yeah. All right, so our retinal serum's on. Um, Serum's done. That's basically my second step to my skincare. Wait, toner, essence, serum. Third step, sorry. Um, so for moisturizer now, I'm gonna actually be using two different moisturizers as well. I kinda like to load up at night and your skin naturally tries, tries to like repair itself. That's when it kinda starts working and just kinda starts helping restore your natural skin barrier and kind of like helps get you ready for the next day. So I like to spend a little extra TLC at nighttime with my, you know, skincare. Um, so the first one I'm going to be using is the Olay Regenerous Micro Sculpting Cream. Pretty much out. I don't know if you guys can see that. So we're literally scraping the barrel here. Oh, there's really probably nothing left. Maybe that's why I plan on using two moisturizers. And I'm just going to hug my face with my hands. I don't want to rub. So... Whatever's left, just kind of hug the skin and kind of dispute it everywhere on my neck and chest. Um, next moisturizer is the Estee Lauder Revitalizing Supreme. This is also going to help with any recent signs or new signs of like aging. I'm in my almost a late 20s, y'all. I'm 26, so I'm in my mid 20s still. But my birthday's in October. I'll be 27. So once I'm 27. That'll be considered my late 20s, that's crazy. Which, I have no problem going into my 30s. I'm super excited, I feel like I'm gonna be more mature, I feel like I'm ready. Um, lately I've been trying to enjoy my 20s and live in the moment. I'm a big homebody person. Um, and I feel like I'm kind of like in my granny stage and like recently, within the past probably three months, I have like a, is it epiphany? I don't think that's the right word. I'm not gonna start using big words now because I don't really know what that means, but I kind of just have like a eye-opening thing. Um, I feel like being in 25, 26, like everyone around me is like, you're pushing 30, da da da, da you're getting old. Which even if I was 30, like that's so young, you guys. Like it's so young. So, but what opened my eyes was that like I was in this granny era. Like I just didn't want to do anything. I didn't want to go out. I wasn't really crazy about like the bar, club scene. Like just not me. Like being out all late, not me. Um. So I just feel like I was like wasting my 20s away. Like I wasn't 
enjoying life as much. And I feel like when I do enter my 30s or even entering my 40s, like I don't want to look back on my 20s and be like, you didn't do anything. Like you were boring. So I don't know. Kind of been going through that. But where did I, where was I going with this? I don't know. Oh, the revival and surprise. I think that's where we're going, but we're just gonna circle back there. But basically this is gonna help with any early signs of aging. When you're in your 20s, like that's like the best time to start targeting your anti-aging things. So this is gonna mainly help with, um, you know, lifting and firming the skin, kind of restoring that collagen. Um, you know, the collagen is basically what kind of keeps your skin plump, that way it doesn't like sag and hang. So that's what the Revitalizing Supreme is for. So that's what I used on, that's my, my second moisturizer. You don't need two moisturizers, you don't need two serums. That's just what I do. Um, eyes, so I am using Estee Lauder's Advanced Night Repair Eye Concentrate Matrix. Um, so this is just basically like, they do have two, they have original Advanced Night Repair Eye Serum. Um, you can get a gel, it's like a gel. Um, this one is like a extra, um, it's like basically advanced night repair for the eye times 10. So it just has a little bit more, I don't wanna say supplements, but it has a couple more ingredients that basically activate the under eye and kind of keep it hydrated times 10. So it's like the same product, but times 10. So like extra dosages of what the original product has. But this one is a little bit different as well, like the packaging. So you have like a little eye applicator and I basically just take it and Massage the under eye. We're already going on 16 minutes. I want to try to keep this under like 20. And this is pretty much my last step to my skincare. Um, so we're, I think we're doing good. So, um, yep, I just take the applicator and massage the under eye. The under eye area is probably the most sensitive. No, it is not the most. It's not probably it is. But it is the most sensitive area on your face. It's the most thinnest part of your skin on your face. So you just want to be super gentle and um, cautious when touching or working around the eye area, especially if you're doing makeup. Um, I think a lot of people back in the day before like social media took off and all these like trends and you know words of advice come out with like skincare and makeup but a lot of people used to like when they're doing their eyeliner they pull on their skin um, you know it's a super thin and sensitive part of your face and um, it can get damaged really easily so you just want to take care of it keep it hydrated um, you know just be gentle around the eyes but basically I like to take my finger and just take whatever product is left and just kind of, you know, dispute it around the perimeter of my eyes. But that pretty much sums up my face routine, skincare routine. I then just take my Vaseline Rosy Lips. I like this one for my lips. It's very um, thick in coating. But yeah, I usually, that's, that's what I do for my lips. But that wraps up the skincare. Usually for the hair, um, I like to use this Meow Rice Water Spray. It's really good for like regular styles, like if you get braids in or something. But I usually just like to just kind of spray my scalp. I'm actually gonna take this headband off. Ooh, I was nervous for how that was gonna appear. But we're just gonna take this and I like to kind of spray it right where I feel like I'm more rough. I do a lot of slick back looks for work, especially in the summer. It's been so hot. So like slick back buns or clips or whatever has been like my go-to lately. And I feel like it's pulling on my, um, you know, hairline here and it's just slowly receiving. So we're trying to take care of that. Um, and then I just use my rosemary essential oil. This helps with hair growth. Um, I usually put that right on the, I can't think, hairline. And then I also do a little bit in the middle of my head. And then I just take my fingers and massage my scalp. Massage it up, we're at 19 minutes and 22 seconds, whatever. We'll be a little over 20 minutes. It's been a while, I haven't talked to you guys in a while. I actually missed being in front of the camera. Crazy enough, it's crazy because when I think about when I started my first video, it was so awkward. I said um probably like a thousand times. I probably still do it, but I don't know. It was just kind of awkward. It was weird talking to a camera because no one's in front of you. You're not talking to anybody. And even now, like knowing I don't have like a large following, which is fine with me. I don't really care. Um, it's still sometimes be like, girl, who are you talking to? <laughs> so yeah, but I don't know. Who cares? 
this video wasn't as long and I didn't ramble. I feel like I didn't ramble as long or as much as I thought I was going to, but yeah. All right, so that is pretty much massage into my scalp. Um, lastly, what I do, I'm a big coconut oil girl. I use this for makeup remover to remove my makeup. I use this for moisturizer. I use it for hair oil. I use it for everything. I use it to brush my teeth. It's like a natural dirt oil, or I'm sorry, what? Can't even talk. It's like a natural dirt stain remover. Like it kind of pulls those stains and those extra like build up from your teeth. Don't knock it till you try it. Um, if you don't want to brush your teeth with it, um, you can always use it like a, like a mouthwash. Like melt it down, just kind of swish your mouth around with it and then just brush your teeth like normal. So I use it for a lot of different things. Coconut oil is very good for you. Um, I do watch it with putting it on my skin. I don't really use it for moisturizer because my skin is already, I have like combination skin. Um, and in the summer, it's just super, super oily. So I do watch it. I don't use it for moisturizer in the summer just because I feel like it clogs my pores. So I don't use it as like a moisturizer. But I just basically take a little bit and put it towards the ends of my hair. That's really where I focus it. I don't take it any higher than like the middle of my hair because I don't want my hair to be super greasy. Um, yeah. So, and then whatever's left, I just kind of massage it into my hair. My hair's not fully dry, so we did okay. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I, like I said, it's different. Um, let me know what you guys like to see. Like I said, I do vlogs, I do get rid of me and chit chats. This is gonna be very different. So yeah, and then it's gonna take a little bit more and kind of just massage it on my elbows and everywhere else. I actually have to go grocery shopping after this because I don't have anything in my house but like condiments and water and wine and seasoning. So I like need to do some grocery shopping. So I'm about to take off here after this but I really just wanted to do a video. I really wanted to upload something and yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys all had a great weekend. Um, I hope you guys all have a good week back to work. If you guys are struggling right now with kind of getting back into the groove or finding a routine or getting back into your actual routine or whatever, um, you guys got this. Like I said, don't beat yourself up. I'm not here to like kind of school you or like try to give you advice because I don't know what everyone's going through. That's just not what my channel's about. Like I'm not going to be like, I don't know. Um, I don't know. <laughs> but I just want you guys to know that just don't be too hard on yourself. Especially right now, like life is so weird. It's so weird. It's kind of scary. Um, yeah, there's nothing wrong with like, you know, falling off routine or whatever, you know. Just as long as we get back up, get back into it, worry about one thing at a time. Don't try to overwhelm yourself with trying to get back into like, for a while it's like, I need to get back on my videos, I need to get back in the gym, I need to start meal prepping. I'm like, girl, slow down, one thing at a time. There's nothing wrong with that. So, I don't know. I guess I am just here to kind of give you guys some encouragement. I love you. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I feel like I said that three times, but I enjoyed making this. I, like I said, I miss being in front of the camera. I enjoy making this video. Um, very raw, no editing. I'm just gonna upload it. I'm probably gonna upload like a little starter part and then, you know, whatever else. And that's that. Um, all right, you guys have a great week back. Um, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.